Hi, everybody. Uh, today, we're going to be going through the AWS pricing calculator. Now, this is a really, really cool feature that AWS provides. If you are looking to uh, do something simple like create a lab for yourself, uh, if you need to create a lab for your organization, or if you're actively looking to move an application or create an application within AWS, this is something you really want to be familiar with. I mean, it's not terribly complicated to figure out, but it is really cool because a lot of times we do things in AWS, we do things in the cloud, we don't realize how much it's actually going to cost until we actually get the bill. So this is pretty cool. Uh, so I have my AWS console up here. I want to show you just a quick application that I have within my environment and then show you how I pre-calculated how much this is going to cost me and decide if this is something I really wanted to build or not. So let me just open these up in a, in a different tab here. So you can see I have three different uh, AWS instances here, um, or EC2 instances. I'm not really using them. These guys are actually the T2.micro, so these are the free tier. But suppose I wanted these to be larger web servers. Uh, what if I, you know, needed a certain amount of RAM or CPU, a certain amount of disk? You know, there's going to be a cost associated with these EC2 instances. Now you'll also notice that I have a couple of different, uh, a couple of different aspects here. Um, I have, you know, some S3 storage going on. I have RDS. I have EFS. Now I'm not going to go into what these things are. Uh, you know, essentially the RDS is is my my database and the EFS is my elastic file system, my file share. So if I go in here and I look at my databases, you'll notice that I have one simple database uh, for my web server backend. Uh, I did choose multiple availability zones. I did choose the M6 uh, large. I probably could have gone a little smaller. Um, I also have my Elastic File System. So again, I'll open that up on a different tab. So you'll see that I have an Elastic File System. I do have this also uh, available for two different availability zones. I'm using about 60 megs, so, so nothing, you know, nothing huge, right? But the idea is, is the ability to pre-calculate how much this is actually going to cost me before I go in and just light up a lab or light up whatever... Uh, you know, whatever this application is going to be, I want to be able to, to go to my boss, go to my management and say, hey, I'm going to need X amount a month. So if you head over to calculator.aws, uh, AWS has given you a, a calculator to, to create just a free estimate of what you're going to build. Now, of course, in order to do this, you're going to want to know what some of these services are. So you're going to want to know, you know, maybe what you're going to use for your database services. I knew that I was going to use RDS. I knew that I was going to use EFS. I knew that I'd have some, some S3 storage going on. So you, you do want to have, you know, you do want to be familiar with some of those services prior because otherwise you're not going to know what to pick in your estimate. So I'm going to say create estimate. And we'll go in and I'm going to simply say RDS. Now, again, I'm not going to do my uh, my EC2 instances because I know that I did a free tier. Uh, but in here, if you if you were going to do more than just a free tier, you would type EC2 and you would say configure, right? So we'll go ahead and we'll say RDS. Uh, I know for a fact that I was going to use MariaDB, but again, you'll see your different options. Now, when you go into your AWS console and you actually go to configure some of these things, the, the screen through your estimate is, is basically the same, minus the security options like what's your admin ID and password. So if you know that you're going to use SQL or you know you're going to use MariaDB, you're going to say configure to that service, and then it's going to start asking you, hey, what did you want to do? So I know that I picked, uh, what was it, the M6. So what I'm going to do is just X that out, and it, it kind of gave me uh, this readout here of, of what I could pick. So, you know, we scroll down to say, okay, here, here's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the, you know, maybe maybe the, the two extra large, whatever it may be. Do I want multiple availability zones? Do I want one availability zone? You know, do I want on demand or do I want it to have it reserved? Um, you know, obviously, you know, you, you'd want to do some research into what you think you're going to need. How much storage do I think I'm going to need? Is this just going to be a 10 gig per month thing? Is this going to be 40 gigs? What kind of, of database is this going to be? And then each one is going to kind of give you a cost calculator, right? So you're going to be able to say, okay, well, you know, just right off the bat, this is going to be a little bit too much for me. Maybe I want to change that to a single availability zone. Does that change the cost? And yes, it, it drops the cost almost in half. So you want to be able to choose, you know, and as you choose again, on demand or reserved, that's going to choose, that's going to change your calculator as well, right? So, you know, you would move things around based on what you want to do. I'm just going to keep it set to the default, but again, just showing you some options here. Do I want backup storage? What do I want to do? My estimate is going to be $900. You know, again, this is just for a video, so we don't really care. We're going to say add to estimate. Now, prerequisite, obviously, you know, you, you're going to, again, want to understand some of the services, but you don't know, or, or I'm sorry, you don't need an AWS account. So this is just a free service. I'm not even logged in. You don't see anything here. You can just go and say, hey, this is what it's going to cost. Now, that was just my database. 
I'm gonna go ahead and say add service because I also know that I needed an EFS share. So I'm gonna go ahead and say EFS, brings me to the EFS uh, screen. I'm gonna say add storage. What do I need? Do I need consistent storage? You know, uh, is it gonna be a terabyte per month, gig per month? I'm just gonna say, let's just go with five gigs. Um, again, showing the different calculator for different options that you would have. You know, how much am I gonna need per month? What, what's gonna be my throughput? You can guess here. Um, obviously, AWS is going to charge you for what you're using. So if you don't necessarily know how much throughput you're going to need, you know, I would overestimate. So maybe you want to say, OK, look, I'm going to need five gigs per month, you know, for throughput, um, because if you end up not using five gigs, AWS is not going to charge you for five gigs. So I'm going to say add to my estimate. And then what I have here is I have what it's going to cost me per year to run that application. Now, of course, I just chose some bogus values here, right? These aren't the actual values that I used. This is just giving you an example. So this is something now where you can actually save. You can say, you know, save and share. You can bring this to your management. You can tell them, hey, it's going to cost us $11,000 a year. Let's just round up maybe $12,000. To, to support that application in AWS. And now you and your organization actually know what you need to pay for. So it's a pretty cool feature that AWS gives you and I would absolutely be familiar with it.